In standard cloning protocols, a 5' phosphate is required to serve as the donor in the ligation reaction. At a minimum, either the fragment ends or vector ends must be phosphorylated. PCR products need to have a 5' phosphate added before ligation is attempted with a non-phosphorylated vector. If the vector is phosphorylated, or the PCR products were generated with phosphorylated primers, no phosphorylation step is needed. Similarly, digestion of DNA with a restriction enzyme will always produce a 5' phosphate, making a separate phosphorylation step unnecessary. In cloning protocols, phosphorylation is typically accomplished by T4 polynucleotide kinase, which transfers the terminal gamma phosphate to a polynucleotide like DNA. The phosphorylated DNA is now ready for ligation. Visit clonewithneb.com for the full list of products available for this application.